Here we have a sad math question on circles. Okay, let's go to the question. 8x square positive 1 and 12, px positive 8, y square negative 64, py equals to negative 448 uh, p square. In the x-ray plane, uh, the graph of the given equation is a circle. The length of the radius of the circle is n times p, where n and p are positive constants. So what is the value of n? Okay, so it seems uh, the given equation uh, seems to be uh, the equation of a circle in general form. Okay, let's consider the equation of a circle in general form. That is x square, uh, positive y square, positive 2gx, positive 2fy, positive c equals to 0. So usually this is the equation of a circle in general form. So for this equation, uh, the center is equal to uh, negative g comma negative f. And we have to get the value of this g and f from the coefficient of x and the equation of the circle in general form. And uh, to get the radius, there is a formula. The radius is equal to square root of g square positive f square negative c. So this is a formula for uh, formula to find uh, radius. Okay, now uh, what we need to do is uh, like um, we have to write uh, the given equation exactly in this form so that you'll be able to get the value of g and f and we can use this formula to get the radius because the question uh, says the length of the radius of the circle is np so there is an information about the radius so our aim is to find the radius once we get the radius it can be connected to the information over here so and uh, we'll have a chance to get the value of uh, the constant n okay so to get this equation uh, in this form exactly uh, so for the first, we have to get of the term on the right side, and uh, I mean uh, we should get zero on the right side. Here already we have negative 448 p square. Okay, first let me write the equation, given equation as it is. That is 8x square positive 1 and 12 p x positive uh, 8y square negative 64 p y. Okay, so if I sub uh, if I add 448 p square to both sides, I'll be getting 448 uh, p square on the right side. I'll have zero. So I've just added the both sides. Uh, by 448 p square. So when I do so, this uh, 448 uh, p square uh, on the right side will cancel out. Okay, now also when I compare this one with this, uh, okay, here we have zero on the right side, but when you look at the first term and second term, we just have x square and y square. Okay, so let's write x square and y square together. So we get x 8x square and we can write uh, 8y square over here. Then we have to write the x term that is uh, positive 1 and 12 uh, px. Uh, then we have one negative 64 uh, py, positive 448 p square equals to 0. Okay, so here uh, we have just x square, y square, but here we have 8 x square, 8 y square. And also one more thing is uh, here, this one, this one, I think everything is a multiple of 8. But we can divide the whole equation, I mean everything uh, by 8 in this equation. So let's divide each term of this equation by 8. So on the right side also we have to divide 0 by 8. So this 8, 8 will cancel. This 8, 8 will cancel. 8 goes into 8 one times. And here uh, 8 goes into 1 and 12, uh, I think uh, 14 times. And 8 goes into 8 one times. 8 goes into 64, 8 times. And 8 goes into 8 one times. And 8 goes into 448, uh, 56 times. And 0 over 8 is uh, just 0. So I'm getting x square, positive y square, positive uh, 14 px, negative 8 p y uh, positive 56 p square equals to 0. Now the given equation is exactly in this form. Okay, so at the place of 2 g, what do we have over here in our equation? So 2 g is a coefficient of x. So what is the coefficient of x uh, in our equation? 14 p. So 2 g is equal to we have 14 uh, p and 2 f is a coefficient of y. So instead of uh, 2f, what do we have in our equation? Negative 8p. So 2f is equal to negative 8p. And the constant of here is c. Instead of c, we have 56p square. So we can write c is equal to 56p uh, square. OK, now we can solve for g in this one. So for that, I have to divide both sides by 2. So this 2, 2 will cancel. 2 goes into 2 1 times. 2 goes into 4 times, 7 times. I am getting g is equal to 7p. Now I divide both sides by 2. So this 2, 2 will cancel. 2 goes into 1 times. 2 goes into 8, 4 times. So I'm getting f is equal to negative 4p. OK, now I got the value of g, f, and uh, already I got the value of c. OK, now what I can do is I can plug in uh, for this g, 7p, and for this f, uh, negative 4p, and for this c, 56p squared, so that I can get the radius uh, of the given circle. So the radius of the given circle is equal to so square root of for g square we have to write 7p the whole square positive 
for f square we have to write negative 4p the whole square negative and for c we have 56 p square okay here we have when it take a square for 7p it will become 49 p square because it's a common exponent for 7 and p when you take this square for this 7 it will become 49 when you take this square for p it will become p square so 14 p square and uh, when I have square, uh, so here the square is applicable for the complete stuff inside the parenthesis. Whenever we have even exponent, the negative sign inside the parenthesis will become positive. Because square means negative 4p times negative 4p, this negative times negative will become positive. And also, so it will become positive. And when I take this square for this 4, it will become 4 square, 4 square is 16. When I take square for this p, it will become just p square, negative 56 p square. Okay, so now, uh, so we have to combine these three terms. So when I combine 49 p square and 16 uh, p square, I am getting um, 65 p square. So from this 65 p square, if I subtract 56 p square, I am getting 9 p square. Okay, so the square root of 9 is just 3 and square root of p square is just p. So now I got the radius uh, of the given circle, that is 3 p. But the question says that the radius of the given circle is n p. So instead of uh, writing radius, we can take it as NP. So because uh, the question says radius is NP, but our aim is to find the value of N and also N is a positive constant. Okay, to solve for N, what I need to do in this equation is I have to divide both sides by P because both of them are multiples of P. So I divide uh, both sides by P. So this P, P will cancel out here, P, P will cancel out. I'm getting N is equal to three. So I got uh, a positive constant, I mean positive value for N according to the question. So in this problem, the value of n is 3.